Yeah, Panthers kicker Joey Sly grew up in a military family. He offset the challenges of moving around the country and having to make new friends with family. Joey's best friend, his older brother, AJ. So a lot of times for me and AJ, it was the first four or five months of being in a new place. We just one-on-one -on -one time all the time. Joey and his older brother, AJ Sly, strengthened their bond through sports. Baseball, basketball, soccer, football, we bowled, ran track, golfed. The things that he did, I, I really looked up to um, and just tried to either A, accomplish the same or, or B, do better than he did. He was my hero. In December 2012, AJ was home on college break. After just finishing his first season as a linebacker at Salisbury University, he was complaining of back pain. So we were just expecting him to be sore and tight from the season. Was feeling a little sick too. A trip to the urgent care quickly took a turn. They're like, hey, we're gonna do a, just a blood sample just to make sure everything's okay. He's like, okay. The blood sample showed a high white cell count, confirming the worst possible scenario. They came into the room and told my brother that he was diagnosed with cancer. AJ, his hero, had acute myeloid leukemia. This is easy, he's gonna beat this. We have no problem. That was Joey's mentality by his brother's side, his number one motivator to keep fighting. My mom made a pact with my brother to say, if you're gonna quit at all, if you're ever gonna throw in the towel, if, if it's too much for you, then you gotta call your brother and tell him that you're done. On AJ's worst days, when he thought he was done, Laura Sly would hand her oldest son the phone to make the call. So he put his phone away, he's like, no, I don't, I don't wanna do it. So that was his, and the line. If he could tell me that he was done, then he was done. On February 26, 2014, Joey got the call he hoped would never come. My mom ended up calling me because he couldn't talk. And it was like, he can't fight anymore. That was the day, the first time that I thought that my brother was going to die. After a 14 month fight, AJ Sly passed away at the age of 20. Now, Joey is the starting kicker for the Carolina Panthers, fulfilling the promise he made to AJ. I'm going to, to make it to the, the top of my sport so that I can continue your legacy. A legacy of strength and courage that Joey acknowledges after every made field goal. So I hold up at number six. Um, he was number, he was, his football number was six back in, in high school. It's a celebration of him. And it's a, just another thing to where I don't want my success to come to me. I want my success to go to him. AJ is with Joey every time he takes the field. That's who he thinks about before kicks. It's just kind of a calming effect when I just take a deep breath, just think about him, just think about us in the, in the front yard at our house. The pressures of making NFL field goals is nothing after watching the strongest person you've ever known fight to live which is why now, every day, Joey fights for AJ. I know the feeling of being helpless as a brother, of sitting there watching your brother hooked up to, to machines, all those images that I have of wanting to do something but not being able to. Joey was able to raise $63,000 through the Leukemia Lymphoma Society, and with that, dedicated a treatment plan in AJ's name. People that are going through a certain type of um, AML leukemia, they're getting treatment because of my brother. My brother is saving lives, and like I couldn't be more thankful for that. The family started the Sly Strong Six Foundation in AJ's honor. It provides six scholarships annually to high school seniors. It's raised close to $50,000 to date. Guys? Wow. That is just incredible work by their foundation. And Matt, we've seen him holding up six fingers, but you found out that is not the only way that he's honoring his late brother. Yeah, I talked to Joey's mom, Laura, and she said every stadium that Joey plays in, Bank of America Stadium out in Phoenix against the Cardinals, in Houston against the Texans, he walks to the six-yard line and takes a little bit of grass. Now, Laura says she's not really sure what she's going to do with the grass yet, but two main missions continue to carry on AJ's legacy and continue in the fight against cancer to make sure that nobody ever has to go through what they've gone through in losing a son and a brother. Great stuff, Matt. Thank you so much. Just 
Just a really tough story to tell, but but it's really inspiring as well. Yeah. Thanks so much for that, Matt.